Peter, can you tell us how and why Gunboat started? I was uh, cruising on uh, my old 70-foot killboat in the Caribbean, and in between the islands there was this terrible corkscrew motion. And uh, one day my kids and my wife and I were all seasick over the leeward side. We look up and there's some old French production boat pacing us. It was embarrassing. We looked in their aft cockpit and there's a family enjoying a baguette and a bottle of wine. And uh, for me, that was an epiphany moment. We uh, sailed the keelboat to Florida and sold it and uh, looked for a cat for ourselves. We couldn't find anything that suited our requirements. I wanted the ultimate in safety the ultimate performance, and there were certain requirements with layout that I wanted. I didn't want a big four-cabin charter boat. I wanted a great sailing boat. So we set out to do a new a new boat, a 62-footer, which became Tribe, the first gunboat. And uh, she employed race boat technology with, you know, sort of a cruising layout, a very comfortable, very simple boat, very fast. It really achieved everything we wanted to do. And... Uh, while we were cruising that boat for 18 months as a family, uh, people kept approaching us for copies to be made. And being in the boat building business my entire life, it was a natural business just to uh, build up on the basis of all of our learnings going through the experience of blue water cruising ourselves. And so what do you say to people now who are monohull cruisers? How do you convince them that Catamaran is the right platform? Um, it's easy. Catamarans are level. I mean, you certainly wouldn't go live in a house that tips over. Um, it's easier on a day-to-day -day basis, week-to-week, month-to-month. You have more energy. You're not climbing over people. You're never in the way. There's more space so that you, know, you can have a functioning working cockpit where people don't lounge around. We're out here in the uh, aft cockpit, which is purely for recreation, and it makes a big difference. You have uh, room and comfort that you just can't get on a killboat and uh, makes all the difference in the world. And what does Gumboat add to that, to um, the rest of the catamarans out there? Your typical catamaran can't get out of its own way. I mean, they're appalling at sailing performance. Most catamarans on the market, you know, they spec big engines and you're expected to use them most of the time. They really, really only get going if you have a beam reach in 25 knots. A gunboat outperforms just about anything on the water, including the racing boats of equivalent size. Um, on all points of sail, upwind, downwind, reaching, you know, the boat, uh, all points of sail are the sweet spot. And, uh, you know, if you get it on the aft quarter, there's not much afloat that's going to touch it in terms of performance. Um, in terms of quality, you know, it's epoxy and carbon construction. You know, these boats will probably last 50 or 100 years with no trouble. And why do you need that extra speed? Uh, I believe that when you sail blue water, the, your biggest safety factor is speed. You can sail around bad weather, um, you can go with shorter windows, or you can take windows and make a whole passage rather than just getting half the way through the danger zone, you can get all the way there. You know, the idea of the gunboat is to be able to do a thousand miles in three or four days without any trouble, and all the boats have had that experience. Peter, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.